Hey YouTube, HTP Carolina. Um, I know you're like, why in the world is your face green? And why is your hair straight? First thing I want to want to address, no, I did not um, you know, get a relaxer. I did get a blowout and then get my hair cut. This is actually six days after having my hair cut and blow dried and flat ironed. I had quite a bit cut off. Um but I like it. It's long layers. I haven't combed it today. I kind of just raked it down with my hands. Um, so you can see it. So anyway, and my face is green because I got a product from Shea Essentials. It's called her Detox Clay Facial Mask. And the reason I tried it, I have very sensitive skin, but she has such good ingredients in it. I'm at an age right now where I'm really really conscious of wrinkles, texture, com um, clarity, complexion, and everything. And all of her ingredients are very, very good ingredients for all of those concerns. She has um, dead sea mud in here. She has, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, it's K-A-O-L-I-N, white K-A-O-L-I-N clay, French yellow clay, um, witch hazel, lavender, seaweed, green tea, peppermint, eucalyptus, essential oils, jojoba, retinol, and vitamin E. Those are the ingredients in this mask, which make it very, a very concentrated, potent um, mask to use once a week. It's not every day, it's once a week. And it is supposed to help with circulation, tone, tightening, unclogging pores, um, deep cleansing your skin and if you look up the ingredients I just told you and look at the the properties of them for your skin you will definitely want to try this mask I um like I said I'm very skeptical and very um, particular about what I use that's why I use her products because she has such quality ingredients in her products so this is it the um, detox clay Facial mask from Shea Essentials. I know you probably can't read that, but that's what's on my face. I'm getting ready to wash it off because it's dry. You put it on um, clean skin and you let it dry and then wash it off. So that's what I'm using right now. And it's peeling, see? When I touch it, it starts peeling. See there? So that's how you know it's time to wash it off because it'll start like flaking and stuff. So anyway... And I really like it. It tingles when you put it on. It doesn't get tight to where you feel like, Ugh. but um, you do know when it's time to wash it off. And another tidbit, y'all. I'm going to do a giveaway. Yay! Woo! Bells and whistles. I'm going to do a product giveaway with products featured from Shea Essentials. They're going to be some of her soaps, some of her um, her oils. But what I will do, most of the products will be unscented. Although I love her essential oils and the scents I use, I don't use artificial fragrances, but I use her essential oils. But because it's a giveaway and a lot of people are sensitive to certain scents, they will be mostly unscented products. Um, I'm going to do another video letting you know about the giveaway where you're not distracted by my um, Jolly Green Giant face. So um, that video will come either later this afternoon or tomorrow. So look for it. But to be considered for the giveaway, you have to go to Facebook um, and do HCP Carolina Natural Hair Care. Join on Facebook. I'm trying to get that site up and running. I'm not really computer savvy. So just like you have to join on there and um, be a friend or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay. So anyway, good luck with the giveaway. And I will do another video with all the specifics. So again... I'll let you know how this goes. So far, I really like it. I like how it feels, and I want you to see me with straight hair. This is how I used to look. So, anyway, I like it. It's been six days trying to keep it um, keep it straight, staying away from the shower, hoping it don't rain, all that kind of stuff. So, anyway, all right. Bye.